Welcome to my Create Studio review. Are you tired of struggling with complex animation software? Today I've got something just for you. Create Studio, the software that makes Pixar style 3D animations a breeze. This software is filled to the brim with amazing features, and before I dive into the benefits, I want to let you know that Create Studio currently comes with very special pricing. You can dive into the animation magic by clicking the link in the description. Let's begin now. So Create Studio offers fantastic features designed to make your video creation life so much easier. First up, there's the 3D Character Creator, allowing you to easily design custom characters that bring your story to life. Allow me to show you how it works in the Create Studio dashboard. So what we want to do is go over to the left side and click on 3D Creator. And you're going to notice that there's seven characters that we can choose from. This is actually a really good thing, as when they first launched this, I believe they had maybe one or two. So it's a good thing to see that they are constantly upgrading. That's always something I'm looking for when it comes to doing software reviews. For this example, we're going to use Tom. So let's drag and drop it into our timeline here. And just like that, we have Tom standing idle in the dark doing nothing. But have no fear, we can completely customize what Tom looks like and of course his backgrounds and surroundings, which we're going to do. Let's click on Tom. And as you can see, we can change around the top, bottom, shoes, hats, hair, glasses, facial hair, eyebrows, accessories. You can add logos, colors, and lights. Starting off with the top, of course, I'm just going to kind of scroll up and down so you can see some of the options that you can choose to do here. Maybe he's going to be going sleeveless. He wants to show off the guns. Sun's out, guns out, right? Uh, jacket, suits, superheroes. Like there's a wide variety of things that you can utilize, which is really good. Something else I think you'll really like is the ability to utilize logos. So this is important because maybe if your brand or product has a nice logo that you want to put right in the middle, you can do that. Allow me to show you how it's done. We can click on logos right here. And then from there, we can click on logo again. And I'm going to upload my marketing island logo very quickly. All right, so there we have it. Let's click on that. And just like that, we have added our logo in the middle. Pretty cool, right? So you can use whatever logo it is that you need. Most specifically, you probably want to use your product or your brand. But let's go back to the top. Let's say he's going to be doing a bodybuilding competition and let's go with shirtless. For this, we have bottoms. Once again, plenty more to choose from, but let's say we're going with beach shorts here. We have shoes. Just kind of kind of go up and down so you can see the ones we're going to be using. I'm going to go with vans. Why not? Hats, <laughs> if you want them to be Santa, you can do that, or let's, we can just do none, of course. Hair, I'm going to pick something that probably matches similar to mine, maybe like medium hair, or I'd say this one probably looks very similar to me. We have glasses and facial hair as well. Let's say we're going to go with the strubble here. Okay, eyebrows, in case you don't want those caterpillar eyebrows, we can make them a little bit thinner or longer, maybe something like that, looks fine. We have accessories that you can add as well. Maybe someone's gonna be always rocking headphones or AirPods. Another nice little feature here is tattoos. By adding this, what you can also do is upload a PNG to actually match a specific tattoo that might be used. So you can really tailor that around to your liking if gonna be needed, of course. Let's click on that again so we can actually take it off. And of course, we have colors here. Maybe we're not going to be using like uh, pink for this. Maybe you want to change around the color. It could be green. So Tom is ready for his first bodybuilding competition, but it wouldn't look like it aside from his lack of muscles, right? We can also change around the background and I'll show you how that's done as well. Create Studio has a plethora of fantastic backgrounds and I think you're really going to enjoy them. So if we click on the studio button, we can then click on backgrounds. And as you can see, there's going to be plenty of them. And in my opinion, they look fantastic. Maybe I'm just a sucker for good sceneries and like a lot of good AI pictures, but I think they look fantastic when it comes to doing 3D work overall. Now, there is one that is one of my favorites that I'm going to utilize, which is going to be the stage here. And what I'm going to do is simply just drag and drop it into here. All right, so now we have Tom, and of course he's just standing there idle. Let's make him a little bit more animated, shall we? So what we can do is click on him here, and we can go to Actions. Right now we have the action. It's automatically going to be there, which is idle. Let's add a new one. And for an example, given the fact he is doing his first bodybuilding competition, probably not successfully, but hey, A for effort, let's click on Doing Dumbbell Curls Tired. And if you'll notice, it adds it right here. So let's move that up to the top. And in fact, we probably don't need him standing there idle, so let's get rid of that. And you'll notice it's going to replace in the timeline. We probably don't need it to be that long, so let's shorten it, and then let's make sure that these are actually connected. Perfect. Now, there's much more we can do, so let's go ahead and add some more animations. Let's click on Tom once again, and of course, we can do Add New Action. All right, and for this one, we can go, say, celebrating with trophy. Why not? Let's add that one in, right? He's doing a competition. Maybe he wins. And after he does his dumbbells, he's going to be victorious. So let's extend this a little bit longer. What else can we add? Let's find out. Let's click on him again. Let's add a new action. 
And let's say he's going to be doing... He's going to be waving. Of course, he's waving to all his fans who came to support him. Sounds good. Let's make this a little bit longer so he extends with it. So I'm going to start about right here. He's celebrating with the trophy. He just figured out he won. Now he's waving. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Let's click on him once again. Let's do add new action. And down right here is going to be walking, right? So we want to put this one up at the top. We're going to use this right here and drag it to the top right here. Okay, so this is going to be him walking. Now, here's where it gets pretty cool. All right, and so now that the drag bar is all the way on the left side, what I want to do is go to add animation here. And what I want to do is position. And if you notice right here, it's going to bring up these two little dots you can click on. So we want the first one here. What that means is he's going to start off right here. And when we drag it, here we go. That means he's going to end up there. But we want him to walk for almost that whole period. So first, what we can do is make the walking scene a little bit shorter. And now we can extend this so when he finally arrives, he's going to be right there. And you'll notice he might not be facing the right direction, and we can change that as well. Look at this. He's doing the moonwalk. Okay, that was even better. But let's just say he's not going to be doing the moonwalk anytime soon, right? He's working on building muscle. What we can do here is go to the walking on the left side. We can do properties. And what we can do is we can give him a little flip just like that. Perfect. So now we have a pretty good scene right here. So let's get out of this. Perfect. So what he's going to do, he's going to walk up here. What he's going to do is his dumbbell curl routine. He's going to celebrate with a trophy, and then he's going to wave to his two fans that are in the stands cheering on for him. Let's see how it goes. Perfect. Doing the curls. He's tired, but you know what? He's still the number one champ in his mind. Thank you so much for coming out, and enjoy. And also, you'll notice how he's rotated ever so slightly. What we can do to change that is just simply move it around about this way. All right, so moving on now. Next, we have the Create Studio Lightning Builder, enabling you to add lightning speed to your video building. So for this, we can choose our video ratio. That's going to be step one. I'm going to go with 16 and 9, the best option for most videos. Great for websites, landing pages, and YouTube. Now here we can choose our style of video. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through just so you can see the amount of different types of videos that you can create, whether it be like a business pack, emoji pack, like welcome to our restaurant. We have social videos, business presentations, Christmas promo packs, uh, YouTube videos, of course, titles and overlays, minimal promos, moderns, devices, scrapbooks, summers, and I'm just going to scroll down so you can see the rest. A plethora of them for you to choose from. Really a good thing right there. Let's go with the clay one. And for this, this makes your life so easy because what you can do is choose the scenes that you want to utilize. This is going to be step three. So we have all of them right here. Then we have openers. So as an example, you can kind of hover over it to see what it's going to be about. I'm going to go with this one where it just says, this is Tom. Okay. And we can change all that around. Let's do add scene. Next, if we want to use any content here, we can do that. And I'm just going to scroll down so you can see some of them that you can obviously use. And if you hover over once again, you can see what they look like. But maybe we just want to go straight into the problem. Given the fact I am all about business, I like this one here because it's rocket issues. And it says he tried so hard to get his business off the ground. I think that's going to be perfect. Let's add that one. All right, then we have the solution. I think this one's going to look perfect because it works with the rocket, obviously not going off before. And now it's kind of going into orbit. Let's do add scene. We have some benefits here. So there can be a whiteboard, a train, flying, you know, just maybe a book here. I'm going to go with the book here as well. Then we have a call to action, which is going to end it off. So for example, let's say we have a flipboard here. Get started. Okay, looks good. And also another really good thing, we could add all of our transitions right from the get-go right here. If we go right here, we can simply click on this. And you're going to notice when we hover over it, it's going to showcase what these transitions look like. So I think a lot of these look really good. I happen to like that one. And we can apply them to all scenes to make our life easier as well. So I'm going to do that. Click on swing left. And just like that, all we need to do is go to editor. And we can change around a lot of like the text and font and colors. But it's not going to take very long. Another big plus when it comes to using the lightning creator. Let's click on go to editor. And before we get started, we can always choose a music style. There's plenty to choose from. This is going to be very similar to when we were creating a character. We can use music in the background. It's going to be the same thing here, but I'm just going to skip this because I don't want to play over me when I'm talking. So I'm just going to do skip. We can always add it in later. All right, and so here we are in the editor again. And the beauty of this is that a lot of the heavy lifting has already been done for you. What we can do is click on each specific scene and change around some of the text that we have. So as you can see here, this is Tom. Let's just say that his name is going to be James. What we can do 
is just type it in. And of course, if we want to change around the text, we can click right here. There's going to be plenty for you to do, whether it's going to be the font, the weight, the color, the border, how you align it, spacing, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to go too crazy with the aesthetics. That's always something that you can change around. Just kind of show you how you can get up and running very quickly when using the lightning editor. So. Moving forward here, he tried so hard to get his business off the ground. Let's click on this. We can click here to edit the first text. Okay, that looks good to get his business off the ground. After all, Marketing Island is about business, you know, and digital marketing, but it just wouldn't take off. Not much to edit there. I think that looks fantastic. Then this one, then he discovered, let's click on it right here. Let's edit the text. Smart person, he discovered Marketing Island. Let's move on to the next section right here. Now it's gonna talk about some of the benefits and exclusive deals, something like that. Okay, so when we go through, that's what it's gonna have in there, perfect. And then last but not least, we have our clay call to action. So check us out today. I just put YouTube, Marketing Island, something along the lines of that. And as you can see here, we're gonna have the green. This is gonna be the transitions that we originally added in. And so you can see there, I didn't really change around a whole lot. It's mostly just going to be the text, which is just click, point, delete, and then change, of course. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop talking. There's no music, so I'll probably just talk over it a little. And let's showcase what it actually looks like. So in the beginning, this was Tom, which is now James, okay? This is James, nice to meet you. We have our transition, perfect. He tried so hard to get his business off the ground, but it just wouldn't take off. And he looks pretty sad, I know. We have our transition. Then he discovered Marketing Island. Okay, now we have some benefits here coming up. We can help you with launching your digital biz, put business right, software reviews, probably need a better benefit, and of course, exclusive deals. Just the first thing I thought of, of course. Then last but not least, check us out today. We have YouTube, Marketing Island. Pretty cool, right? And if you'll notice, like if I wasn't talking during that, creating that would not be very long at all. And that's what makes their scene builder so great. The ability to very quickly create those videos literally at lightning speed. So it's hard to really cover all of the features that come along with Create Studio, but just know that if you're looking to create some of these videos very quickly, you can do that, whether it's gonna be YouTube videos, sketch doodle videos, explainer videos, whether they're gonna be 3D or clay like you saw in this, bobblehead videos, product review ads, modern promo videos, social media and SMS videos, and so much more. Nevertheless, let's wrap up this Create Studio review so we can finally find out, is it worth it? And spoiler alert, I think you already know the answer. So after diving deep into the world of Create Studio, it's clear that this animation software is a revolutionary tool for both beginners and seasoned video creators. Its user-friendly interface, combined with a vast array of features, makes it a powerful tool for anyone looking to produce high-quality animations quickly and efficiently. Whether you're crafting engaging explainer videos, eye-catching social media content, or professional-grade marketing videos, Create Studio has you covered. I would have to say that one of the standout features of Create Studio is its intuitive drag and drop timeline, which allows for seamless editing and precise control over your animations. The extensive library of pre made templates and assets is a huge time saver, enabling users to jumpstart their projects without starting from scratch. Additionally, the software's compatibility with both Mac and Windows ensures that it fits smoothly into your existing workflow, regardless of your operating system. Moreover, the frequent updates and responsive customer support ensure that you're always equipped with the latest tools and assistance when needed. In conclusion, Create Studio is a worthy investment for anyone serious about elevating their video content. Its combination of ease of use, rich feature set, and ongoing support make it a standout choice in the animation software market. Whether you're an entrepreneur, marketer, or content creator, Create Studio provides the tools you need to bring your creative visions to life with minimal hassle. Don't just take my word for it though. Be sure to click the link in the description and pick up Create Studio today to see for yourself. And that concludes my Create Studio review. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my review, and I hope you enjoy Create Studio as much as I do.